Shalom Akim. Um, first and foremost, all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, I came across this article today, you know, surfing the web. Uh, the article is entitled Credit Card Companies Are Forcing Everyone to Use Smart Credit Cards in Their Way Against Cash. Because, as you learned, brothers know they're um, trying to make this a cashless society and after they make it a cashless society they're gonna have everybody uh, get this mark in their hand uh, let me read some of the article uh, on the second paragraph it says after October 1st after October 1st 2015 deadline created a major US credit card issuers MasterCard Visa Discover and American Express the liability liability for credit card present fraud will shift to whichever party is the least EMV compliant or well, basically they're trying to switch you know credit cards to uh, your credit cards to your credit card to a card that has a chip in it just like a passport or something like that and basically it's just another step closer to the mark of the beast uh, I'm a company to this article with a couple of other news reports I've seen this is uh, RT news I seen this uh, I think it was a couple of weeks ago uh, let's see yeah July 16th and I'm gonna play this for you I'm a supporter of alternative financial systems because the current one we have based on dollars, debt, and deceit is a total joke. But I'm also a realist, so I know that the next financial system made by humans will probably be a big joke too. And now here's the story that backs that up. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have shown some great promise as the next big thing in finance. A big part of their draw is that they're decentralized and not owned by any banks. But the banks are watching these cryptocurrencies very carefully, and they're learning. And now it looks like they're ready to take them over. Because according to the International Business Times, Citigroup has already built its own digital currency that totally rips off Bitcoin and its blockchain technology. It's called Citicoin, and it was bound to happen. In a recent presentation, Citigroup said they believe the adoption of digital money is inevitable. But yeah, well, as you can see, yeah, this internet currency is inevitable and if you don't know what Bitcoin is I also what have is Bitcoin Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency bitcoins are digital coins you can send through the internet compared to other alternatives bitcoins have a number of advantages bitcoins are transferred directly from person to person via the net without going through a bank or clearinghouse this means that the fees are much lower you can use them in every country your account cannot be frozen and there are no prerequisites or arbitrary limits. Let's look at how it works. Several currency exchanges exist where you can buy and sell bitcoins for dollars, euros, and more. Your bitcoins are kept in your digital wallet on your computer or mobile device. Sending bitcoins is as simple as sending an email. And you can purchase anything with bitcoin. So, and that's enough of that. But this is just, you know, just another, a couple of things that I came across. Bitcoin, of course, is a cryptocurrency, an internet currency, as you just saw. Uh, they're about to make this, make this, uh, the credit cards have uh, microchips in it. And like I say, it's just another step closer to the mark of the beast. And of course, this is going to have to come out. Revelation 13 and 16, and he called this all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six and with that say shalom